Good day, everyone, and thank you for being present to listen to our poster presentation, which is entitled Elucidating the Potential Impact of Circulating Plasmodium Falciparum Dihydrotyrate Synthesis Variant on Sulfadoxin Perimetamine Resistance in Ghana and across Africa. This project was conducted in collaboration with Nigel, James, and Benedicta under the supervision of Eli and Mohit from the Pine Biotech team, and our PI, Dr. Anita Gansa from Noguchi Merumoria Institute for Medical Research in Ghana. Malaria continually threatens global public health interventions, especially in Sub-Saharan Africa. Over the years, high mobility and mortality rates are caused by the malaria causative species Plasmodium falciparum. Despite the global eradication and control efforts, resistance to various forms of anti-malaria therapeutics have been a major standing block. In Ghana, sulfadoxin perimetamine is used as an effective agent for intermittent preventive treatment for pregnant women and children. SP function by inhibiting plasmodium hydro, dihydrotyrate synthase and dihydrofolate synthase interfering with foliate um, synthesis. A previous data of plasmodium falciparum DHPS isolated from Ghanaian parasites highlighted a high prevalence of the mutations at position 581 being mutated to glycine and at position 613 being mutated to serine in the forest and coastal regions of Ghana. Interestingly, these two mutations have been associated with resistance to sulfadoxin and exist as a rare occurrence globally. Therefore, in this study, we sought to map out sulfadoxin resistance and assess how the two mutations are spreading across Ghana and other African countries. We therefore hypothesize that the two mutations at position 581 mutated into glycine and at position 613 mutated into serine are spreading across Ghana and other sub-Saharan African countries and could be one of the driving forces of resistance in Africa. For our method to this project, the sample size of the study was 8,044 8, parasite isolate which were extracted from 28 countries. These samples were created from the Plasmodium Community Project for the Malaria Gen Repository and data collected in Ghana from two ecological zones between the year 2014 and 2017. Our objectives were divided into two. Firstly, to identify the diversity of mutation alanin 581 to glycine and alanin 613 to serine in Ghana and across Africa. To achieve the objective, data processing, variant calling, and haplotype analysis were done. Secondly, the potential effects of identified haplotypes were evaluated on the structure of Plasmodium falciparum DHPS. To achieve these objectives, homology modeling of wild type and mutant structures were successfully done. Mutant mapping and mutation analysis were also performed. We also performed molecular docking and interaction profiles. From the results, as reported in the forest and coastal regions in Ghana, two, the two mutations, alanin 581 glycine and alanin 613 serine, were also present in the savannah regions where transition is high and seasonal. This suggests that the mutation is coming up regardless of transmission intensity and seasonality. Furthermore, investigation across the other regions of Africa and the world show the presence of alanin 581 glycine and alanin 613 serine in West, Central, East Africa, and also Southeast Asia and South America. Unsurprisingly, the key mutation for resistance, which is alanin 437 glycine, were found to be present in almost at fixation in all the regions. Another critical mutation, lysine 540 to glutamine, also had presence of 5% and 
and above in Southeast Asia, but less than 1% in the other regions which agree with literature. With regards to the haplotype analysis, 17 unique haplotypes were found across all regions with eight having noticeable frequencies. The double mutant haplotype bearing alanine 581 glycine and alanine 613 serine were only present in Cameroon, which is a country in Central Africa. Most importantly, alanine 581 glycine and alanine 613 serine were found to be hitchhiking um, with the key alanine 437 glycine and the mutation is only present in West and Central Africa at the moment. This does suggest that alanine 581 glycine and alanine 613 serine mutations are not being selected alone, but rather with alanine 437 glycine and the triple um, haplotype mutation is sweeping across from the west of Africa towards the east and would eventually reach Southeast Asia. Hence, it's present in West and Central Africa only. The complete 3D structure of wild type and mutant alanine 581 glycine, alanine 613 serine, and other haplotypes were successfully built through homology modeling. When mapping onto 3D crystal structures of the protein gene, it was observed that alanine 581 glycine occupies a crucial loop structure of in the active site in close proximity to an um, already known marker, resistant marker alanine 437 glycine and glycine 540 and glutamine as seen in figure three. Also, alanine 613 serine occurs on alpha helical structure at the entrance of the active site of the protein as referred to um, figure three. This podia position may have a vital effect on sulfur doxin binding. Amino acid changes resulted in the change in physiochemical properties of the protein, which could affect active site drug recognition. Additionally, mutations were predicted to destabilize the active site by disrupting molecular interactions crucial for catalysis. This destabilization could result in conformational changes, which may affect the binding of, comp of the compound sovadoxin. Again, we dox sovadoxin in the active site of the wild type and mutant systems, which referring to figure five, the presence of mutation caused the loss of molecular interactions surrounding the protein position. Hydrogen bonds were misplaced indicating major structural and functional recognition changes. With regards to table three, we also noticed that single mutants were predicted to not significantly decrease binding affinity, whereas double and triple mutations significantly decreased binding affinity to sovadoxin. From figure six, the wild type um, in the sovadoxin in wild type made several hydrogen bonds, hydrophobic interactions, and other molecular, important molecular interactions with active site residues, crucial for drug recognition and catalysis. However, in the presence of mutations, resulted in change in interactions with the drug and also formed unfavorable interactions with tyrosine 6663, which could result in steric clashes with the drug. In conclusion, alanine 581 glycine and alanine 613 serine mutations are gradually spreading across Ghana and other sub-Saharan African countries by occurring on same haplotype with known uh, plasmodium falciparum DHPS gene markers and hence increased surveillance is duly recommended. Again, Structural analysis suggests potential effect of mutation on drug binding and structural functions. As future work running dynamic simulation could additionally highlight some resistant mechanism, which could be a major foundation to discovery of better drugs for 
uh, malaria treatment. Thank you for listening.